Morning is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out the day today looking at Apple. You can see here that we completed the big ABCD pattern up there at new highs at that 152 level almost. Now we came down hard, then we rallied back up. We've been going sideways, as you can see. We're a little bit up today. Well, actually, yeah, we're right unchanged right now in that so that's the main thing i wanted to take a moment i got two stories to tell you one uh dates way back to the year of uh, 2018 i want to get the chart up here we were in london doing a three-day gig with tom o'brien <laughs> tom hugard and uh and also david paul the three of us uh, and uh this was a sunday the 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 13th of September, and one of the one of the participants from uh, Denmark happened to be a relatively new trader, and he was short crude oil uh, on his system that he had, and it gapped up a seven dollars against him. It was up nine dollars Sunday night, and he they, his his uh, brokerage firm did not take overnight orders for Sunday, so he had to wait until the regular opening on Monday in order to do that. He since corrected that, but. Uh, he came up to me and he says, "What should I do?" And we sat there as a class and we looked at it and said, "Well, you're setting at a you know perfect 1.27, but if you'd looked at the long-term chart on this, the, which I don't have today, is the weekly chart was sitting right there at the 78% level at uh, 77.72, uh, and uh, it it was really you know, quite amazing. I said, "You just put your stop at 77, you know, or 78," and I said, "If it gets there, you're probably going to have to take a loss, but I think you got a chance." Well. It was when the drones were hit in in Saudi Arabia and oil jumped up. And, of course, Sunday night, and then it started rolling over while everybody was asleep. And by the time they got in, the market started to go down, and it broke. Well, he came up to me, and he says, I have to learn what you're doing. I want to be your student. And I said, okay, let's give it a shot. And he's been doing it now for 18 months, and he checked in with me today. And he said he's thanking me for what he's done. And I asked him, I said, how are you doing? And he said, well, I'm not doing as well as I want to be, but I'm learning a little bit each day. I said, well, how much are you up on the year? And he said, I'm up 40%. I said, you're up 40% in the first seven months. I said, that's going to put you in the superstar uh, status, folks, because you're going to be at 80% by the end of the year, and not many people can keep that up. And he said, well, I'm only doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I said, that's what you should be doing. And he says, what's the next step? I said, continue with rule number one. If rule number works, don't break it with rule number two. And I said, just keep doing it. And he said, well, I still make mistakes. I said, welcome to the clubs. Mistakes is trading. That's all what it's all about. But he's got the right mindset. He's taking his losses as he should. He's taking his profits as he should. And he's proceeding the way he should be doing. So you're never going to be perfect in this business, folks. If you want perfection, you know, uh, marry, marry, a, marry a lady robot because that's the only way you're going to get one, I'm afraid. So anyway, let's, let's keep in mind that, you know, trading is all about the legal applications of this legal <laughs> and the mental. Boys and girls, I have a allergy and they have got me on some medication and that's why my, my – uh, I'm not on any drugs or anything of, of significance, but it does dull my senses a little bit, and I am missing a few words. But it is a mental game, and you want to be able to do it. I just got hit with a uh, the Palo Verde trees that usually don't bloom in late summer, but we had so much rain, they're blooming again. And, boy, they they hit me pretty hard yesterday. I was not even able to uh, to hardly talk because I had such a bad sore throat and um, sinus trouble. But I'm 100 percent, well, 38 percent better today. Uh, as we look at that. Okay, one other thing. We got a, I got a phone call. Let's try it again, Larry. I got an email from one of our customers uh, for TFNN. I don't know if he's a subscriber. He listens to our show. He's a big Elliott Wave fan, and he said that, you know, I'm really off base, and I really don't understand Elliott Wave very much. I said, I'm sure of that. Not a problem. And he said, there's no ABCDs in the Elliott Wave system. So all I did was I waited for the very next ad coming in from Elliott Wave, and I copied it and set it up here. This is a linear exp 
extrapolation in an Elliott wave world, and you can see these little little wiggles and stuff that are in there like that. Well, those little wiggles, folks. Now, take just take your uh, humor, the old cowboy here, for a minute. See if you can look at it really, really close and find out if you can find any of these little things that Mr. Mandelbrot called the ABCD, and they're all over that place. And that's all it is. My interpretation is ABCD. I'm not not worried about the wave count. That's really not uh, what I what I want to be looking at. I just want to be able to see this. Uh, this is very good. David White's got a quote here. Ninety percent of trading is technical. The other ninety percent is mental. That's a good one from uh, from Yogi Bear, as I recall. Very good. Okay. Anyway, that that's really what it's all about. It's breaking it down. Now, to, last night. Uh, we were watching something, getting ready for the you know the Fed to come up, and we had this pattern that we that we saw coming in, and we sent this out long before it happened. But we had this beautiful one three five pattern staying at the seventy eight percent level of the previous high on the twenty fifth, suggesting that we were going to go down and uh, possibly get down to that uh, twenty twenty three uh, thirty level. So that's what was going on. Now right before. You know, the, right before the Fed comes in, which, you know, we always know that they're always on time doing the stuff that they're doing. If you'll take a look at see what happened to silver at that time, you'll be able to see it went right down to the exact spot within one cent. And believe me, folks, when you're frustrated is when you give it a two cent, uh, $100 uh, variance and it doesn't get filled and it uh, took off like a rabbit rabbit so that's neither here nor there so that's that's why i'm watching these things so very very closely the same thing was happening with gold early in the evening let me get this one up here to uh, to show you where the gold is oh larry please get the gold here's the gold one right here i believe ah yes i think this is the gold one right here let's get it up here now this is what we were watching here and you'll see here what we were watching is for a possibility here to gold to back off to 1777. It only got down to 1780, and now we've rallied up. And now we're, we should be completing gold up here around 1819. Should be a very, very significant re reaction area from that level. The last I saw, you can see here, was 1816. So that's uh, why, we're, why I'm watching these, because the Fed is running. The reason why I'm bringing the Fed stuff up is because when they get in there, things are, things are really crazy. And you don't want to do that. The real tip-off from my perspective that I alerted the folks uh, to today in the 24-7 stuff was to watch the euro at the 382 there at 173.35. It was a perfect ABCD, and it was a perfect 382 uh, right on the money. And it took two days to complete it during the 26th and 27th. And by golly, it just blew the top of that thing off when the Fed came up. And that means that, you know, when the when the euro is moving, that means the U.S. dollar is breaking. And when the U.S. dollar is breaking, that means the gold starts to rise. So that's why you see these big moves and these things as they unfold, because the gold will move up when the euro drops and the uh, excuse me, when the euro goes up and the dollar index drops, that means gold and silver are going to be strong. People are hunting for an asset that has some backing behind it, theoretically. Take a break, 877-927-6648. rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, I'm back, folks, and I posted the chart of the um, S&P 500 with the AI over the top of it. It says we should be topping here at around 1230, somewhere between 4503 and 4506. Those are the three numbers that we're looking at right in there, two numbers, 4505 to 4506. That's at 1230. That means 20 bars later at 1 o'clock, if you were – uh, not starting to move down, this would most probably be wrong. And if you're not stopped out, the stop would be six points. You would start to exit your position, wait till Monday. So that's what we're paying attention to. A couple of things that we need to focus on that we've been talking about for several days that have not worked out the way we wanted to. We've had some really great trades here in silver, corn, euro, and uh, silver, corn, euro. I may have missed the big one. <laughs> I can't even remember the other one. Silver, corn, crude oil. Shut the front door. That was the big one. Anyway, let's take a look here at uh, this is the cattle that we're looking at right now. Hold on here one second. There we go. Uh there we go. There we go. You'll see here uh, we were wanting to sell the cattle up there. We never got it sold. It didn't get back there. It just started to gap down. What we're doing now is we're waiting for a little retracement pattern to enter that market. But that's, you know, sometimes you, you get them, sometimes you don't. Here's the one that really, really is a big surprise, folks, here. We have shorted this here a few weeks ago. We had a really nice profit in it, which we took down at around the uh, 380 level after selling it up around the 420 level. Look what's happened to natural gas over over the weekend, folks, this thing has exploded to the upside. I mean, it's literally just went ballistic. I guess the natural gas trees are not uh, performing as well in the natural gas land where they grow the gas. Let's take a look here at what it looks like on a shorter term time frame, looking at just a four minute chart from Sunday night. You'll notice here we started to explode to the upside. We went from 222, we route $20. That's a $2,000 move. You notice we make a perfect ABCD pattern down there at 432, and now we're trading up around 437. I don't have any higher targets, Mr. Z. I mean, the next one you could look at would be the 1.27, which is up around four, around 460, I believe. But uh, I don't have anything. I'm not involved. I, 
I tried to buy it down there uh, this morning, but I had my order a little bit too close, as always, and I missed it. So I'll just stand aside and, and wait to see uh, what happens. But I guess the natural gas trees, whatever, wherever the natural gas is growing, um, it literally, uh, they stopped it. So we'll see. Something caused this, whether it was Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Boristan, whatever it is, who knows? Uh, no position in crude oil. We sold crude oil, of course, you know, and we had a... Let's try it again, Larry. We bought crude oil down there at the 62 level. We got out of it at uh, 67 and a half. That was a big move. We had a nice move in silver, a uh, very nice move in euro, and a really nice move in corn. All of those four trades worked out this week. So it's been a good week. But right now, I am uh, focusing on trying to get this uh, Palo Verde tree out of here. And uh, I thought about taking it out, but the, the uh, homeowners association won't let me do it. But the tree removal guy came in to tell me that it was going to be $5,500 to remove the tree. And I looked up at the tree and I said, you know, I really love this tree. I said, I think I'm going to keep it. $5,500 for taking a tree out? Get out of here. Whatever happened to the good old days, boys and girls? Jeff Hughes will be our boss, be our guest here at the break. <laughs> I want to share a couple of charts here from uh, J.C. Parrott's, uh, which are very interesting here from All Star Charts. These are the differences between the S&P 500. You can see the S&P 500 large cap has made new highs now. The S&P 400 has not made new highs. And, of course, the S&P small cap has not made new highs. And that's pretty much what we're looking at when we're watching the Russell. But the Russell has come to life, folks. Uh, it really has. It's really, uh, you know, popped up here quite a bit. Let me get the chart up so you'll be able to uh, to see it. it. Had that big double bottom down there, and uh, from there it went. Uh, you know, we're all the way up, way above the 78% uh, retracement of this now, with a big wide ranging day today. So you know, you don't even want to think about selling anything today, unless it's following, you know, a little short term pattern that I'm looking at here at 4503 to 4507. Then, yeah, you can do that. But other than that, it's nothing to write home about. So remind ourselves, trading is about not how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. Warren Buffett's two rules. Don't lose money is rule number one. Rule number two is don't break rule number one. And that's what you try to do when you're doing these things. And that's about as close as you're going to get. Folks, I've been doing this a very long time, and I can promise you this without any hesitation at all. There is no better pattern than this. You can take Elliott Wave, anything you want, but if you look at Mr. Mandelbrot here and look at ABCD, that's what you need to do. I happen to find the Gartley book that was uh, showing this ABCD pattern in 1937, and that, that was the one that uh, you know really said, wow, this is not that hard. I can do ABCD, and if you look at that pattern, We've had today in silver, we've had it. To, well, look at the silver. Just watch this. Uh, when you drew in the three drive pattern here in silver, it was right there. The problem is you've got to get filled, and it missed it by a couple of cents, and that's all you can do. So nothing else than that. So uh, someone's asking about the grains. The uh, I don't even know if they have Army-Navy stores anymore. They used to have a really cool one in San Luis Obispo, but I frankly don't know. They probably do, but it's got everything probably made in a foreign country. So we'll see how this is uh, how this is going to proceed. We'll have to uh, have to wait and see. Okay, let's uh, ask. Someone asked a question about the uh, grains. Yes, the the corn has held up pretty well. The beans are starting to act rel relatively toppy, folks. You know, it's very very. It's, we don't have any in here in Tucson, Arizona, nor in Phoenix. So. And that that is this is what we call redneck country, me being one of them. The uh, we just don't have that stuff here anymore like we used to. I, I don't know if those are franchised or anything, Bill. I I have no idea to see if uh, if we had anything like that. Okay, uh, regarding the grains, uh, we were not involved in the grains. We we bought the corn. We we're out of the corn now. Uh, we're flat. We basically only trade. The only position we have right now is the. Uh, is the uh, long euro. That's the only thing that we still have on, and we'll be watching what the, what the next retracement's going to be in that. But those are the main ones that we're paying attention to. We tried to buy the uh, tried to buy the uh, uh, silver or the gold today, and neither one of them got to our buy points. The gold missed it by about four dollars, and of course the uh, silver missed it a little bit too. So those are primarily the other thing. We're also waiting for a a little counter trend rally in 
in the cattle. The cattle are so interesting because that number that we hit up there at that 131, that's an exact 61% retracement on the long-term weekly chart going back 10 years. So that's a really important number in the cattle. So I think that could be a really interesting one if we do get a counter trend rally here uh, in the next uh, day or two to see if it's uh, going to unfold at this level. Uh, someone's asking, is this the top of the market? I have no idea. Uh, it doesn't appear to me. I mean, why would you think it would be a top in the market? I mean, it's still up. It's made new highs. Uh, S&P's made new highs. The Dow Jones hasn't. The, the Russell hasn't. But they're not too far away now. And the NASDAQ is screaming. So they could go a lot higher. And how much higher, I don't know. But when, we, when we're ready to sell this thing, you're going to be the first and, well, the second to know. And uh, so we haven't seen it yet. But, boy, I tell you one thing, folks. The high that you're seeing now, I'll never see again. Back with Jeff Huge. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jeff Huge of uh, Alpha Insights on the line. Jeff, are you there? I am here, Larry. How are you? 
Well, Jeff, I want you to know that the only reason that we're having you on here today is the fact that you told us two weeks ago we were going to see $4,500 in the S&P when it was trading at 4360 So we took a vote, and it was 99 to 1. One person didn't want you on, but they were from Afghanistan, had lost their connection, so that was probably the reason. An amazing <laughs> forecast, my friend, an amazing forecast. And let's take a look at this uh, this uh, 2021 composite cycle that can this, this, the one year seasonal, the four year presidential, and the 10 year decennial. How much confidence do you have in this one, Jeff? Well, you know, it's not a forecast as much as it is just history's view of how the market should trade based on all of those historic factors that you just put uh, out there. And, you know, the thing that's most interesting to me is the fact that we happen to be in. Um, the August, September, October time frame right now, which is historically the worst three-month period of the calendar year. And at the same time, we're in year number one of the decennial cycle and also the first year of a presidential cycle. Now, the first year of the president's term is usually the most volatile because there's so much change going from one administration to another, especially with an mm -hmm. incoming president as opposed to an incumbent. But especially when you look at years ending in one, you tend to get a lot of volatility. And, you know, if you take a look at the table to the right on that chart, um, you're actually looking at, um, you know, something like a down five and a half percent average return for years ending in one for the August through September period, with about two thirds of those periods being negative. And in the worst case scenario, you typically see something down close to around a bear market area of around 24 percent with very, you know, um, the minimus upside potential. I think the high going back to 1931 was only 2.79 percent. So, you know, the odds favor um, the market putting up disappointing performance in this period. And as a result, we want to be cautious, at least through the end of October. Well, that sort of makes sense to me, but you and I are the only two ones that think that way, unfortunately. Now, you've got another, <laughs> char you've got another chart here that's very interesting about valuations because we hear everything that the market's not overbought or anything. But what are you looking at when you're looking at these uh, historic valuations? Well, you know, there's uh, an interesting guy out there by the name of John Hussman, perhaps you've heard of him. Oh, yeah, and he's a, he's a, yeah, he's been around forever. He has been around forever, and he had a very interesting quote that caught my attention. And the quote goes something like this. It's basically, it may be the greatest collective error in the history of investing to pay extreme multiples for extreme earnings that reflect extreme profit margins and extreme government subsidies, while imagining that those multiples also deserve a premium for depressed interest rates that reflect depressed structural economic growth. So after I read that quote last week in his monthly, I decided to do some valuation work of my own. And what I found was using the most objective lens that I know of, which is market cap to GDP. So the total market cap of the Wilshire 5000 uh, versus the U.S. GDP hit a new all-time record high of 202% this month. Now, if we compare that to history going back to the prior extreme, which was recorded in March of 2000, we only got to 148 percent of uh, of GDP, and so you know we're now one full third higher than that. So that's concerning. I also looked at earnings on a cyclically adjusted basis. So I used the Schiller Cape ratio, and we've now just hit 38.7 times on the multiple. That compares to the March 2000 record high of 43.8. And it's more than double the historical average of 17.2 times. So on an earnings basis, and I, I think this time in particular, it makes a lot of sense to cyclically adjust those earnings because of the circumstances surrounding, uh, you know, the recovery that we're in because it's so influenced by government subsidies, et cetera, and, and monetary mm -hmm. policy. Now, let's not forget Jackson Hole's going on today. But when we look at those two metrics alone, it's extremely concerning. We're in record territory for valuation. But now mm -hmm. let's take a look at just the S&P's dividend yield, which is now 1.3%. That's challenging the year 2000 uh, low as well. And the price to sales ratio for the whole market is 3.1 times. 
That's 50% higher than the than the uh, March 2000 peak of two times. So wow. valuations are historically extreme by virtually every measure at this point. Wow, that's really amazing. Now, the next one we're looking at is margin debt, and that seems to be at a historical levels by a long, uh, long uh, ratio too, isn't it? It is, and what's most interesting to me about margin debt is you can equate margin debt as investor sentiment. The, the greater the number, the more bullish investors are about the market. Well, total mark, margin debt actually retreated by $38 billion dollars during the last report. They report this one month in arrears. So this month we got July's data. And the July data came out at $844 billion. Uh, the, that compares to the June data, which was $882 billion. So this was the first month-over-month -month decline since the March 2020 crash. And the thing is, year-over-year -year growth actually peaked back in March of this year at 71%. And that's been basically trending lower ever since. We're now down some 34 percentage points from the peak uh, rate of change. So we're now just, you know, growing at 37 percent year over year rate of change. And, you know, if we take a look at margin debt as a percent of market cap, anytime you're below 2 percent, that means you're starting to see a rollover in investor sentiment. And so, you know, we're now at 1.85 percent. And margin debt basically tops before the market tops. And I think this cycle peak that we saw in June is endemic of where we are in the market cycle. And that is, you know, we've probably seen it peak or it's peaking right now and poised to roll over. Got a couple of really neat charts here on the preferred Elliott wave count. You want to tell the folks what you're seeing here? Absolutely. So, you know, this chart basically... Uh, references our view of, you know, the primary uh, wave count. And, and so, you know, what is the primary wave count? Well, that's the move up from the March 2020 lows. So this final move up, which has been in a, a really nice trending uh, advance, and we're still trending higher. There's no question about it. But if you look to the chart to the right, that's a blow up of this last final segment, which really starts at around May 12th and moves up from there. And that looks to us to be an ending diagonal triangle. And the ending diagonal triangle only um, is ever evident in the very final stages of a market's advance. And that's what concerns us right here and right now is that this pattern looks exactly like the textbook pattern says it should look. And we've counted these things with a microscope at even this is a four-hour uh, uh, blow-up at the S&P. We've looked at it as low as one minute to try and find errors in the count. And I've gone through every rule and every guideline in Elliott's memos. And let me tell you, this thing is as perfect as it gets. Hey, stay with us, folks. Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Jeff Hughes, Alpha Insights. And, uh, Jeff, this is really great uh, stuff. I mean, I just uh, – I, I love the, the, the counts and everything. I don't, I don't quite count, you know, Elliott Wave stuff. I keep it as simple as possible. But when you add the cycles and stuff to it, it really is, uh, it really is quite amazing. Now, you, you say the, uh, the Elliott Wave count. We should be up near Wave 5. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly right. So we made a new okay. all-time record high in both the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ today. But the Dow has yet to confirm it. The Dow made its high back on uh, August 16th. And that non-confirmation is something that you would expect characteristically of a top. I think it's very possible, and I can't be 100% certain until the market breaks and closes below 4370. But I think it's possible that the market's making its all-time high right now as we speak. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I'll tell you, you've got another one here that I really enjoy because I've, I've, I don't read magazines and stuff anymore because I'm a technician. But you've got a chart here of a Barron's, and I think this is really apropos because I've seen some of these. I remember the one in 2008 when they took the uh, the bull and the bear were out on a boat and the the uh, the bear was the bull was pushing the bear out of the boat with weights on, and that was the high week of the market at that particular time. <laughs> that was in October of, of 08, as I remember. But th there's a perfect example. Now we're seeing one of the unstoppable rise of high tech, and boy, they just don't seem to have any top, don't they? Uh, no, you know, and the thing is, it seems to be that everybody is bullish on these top seven S&P stocks, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, mm -hmm. NVIDIA has joined the party now. If you aggregate the weightings of these top seven stocks together, they represent 25% of the total market cap of the S&P 500. But what's oh interesting to me, yeah, is the price to sales ratio for the market is 3.1. Now I said before, that's a record. Well, the weighted average price to sales ratio of these seven stocks is 10 and a half to one. So, you know, I put a quote that was uh, Scott McNeely. You might remember him. He's the former CEO of Sun Microsystems. Sure. He made this comment at a tech conference in 2000, right after the, the tech market had peaked and broke in March of 2000. And he said, look at 10 times revenues to give you a 10 year payback. I have to pay you back 100 percent of revenues for 10 straight years. And without going through the whole thing, he lists all these reasons why that's ridiculous. And at the end, he says, you know, you don't need footnotes. You don't need transparency. What were you thinking? 
you know, mm-hmm. I think people will look back on this event in history of the same thing and say, what were we thinking? Why did we mm-hmm. pay 13.8 times sales for Microsoft? Mm-hmm. Great company, yeah. but not mm-hmm. a great stock at 13.8 times sales. Yeah. You know, Jeff, you probably remember this, but back during the dot-com bubble, you know, the stocks would double if the telephone rang in the uh, the company thinking there might be a potential sale. The stock would double. I mean, it was uh, that. I, I I said you'll never see anything like that again. And and the, really, this is nothing like what we saw those because those were little stocks that just went. And of course, all of them disappeared. But uh, that's neither. One question one of our listeners is asking: Do you have any information or insight on blockchains and uh, the things that are going? on with the cryptocurrencies. Do you follow that at all? I do. I publish on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. And honestly, I think, you know, I'm, I'm, I, guess, I guess I'm not going to say I'm bullish, but I'm um, constructive on Ethereum. Uh, the thing that I like most about it is the use case uh, with this, you know, decentralized finance and NFTs and things of this nature. You can actually make money in the real economy using the Bitcoin the the um the blockchain technology associated with ethereum and so for that reason alone i think ethereum could be um in its infancy in terms of what it could be long term well that's great now i've posted your uh, website and how the folks can reach you and uh just really great stuff we'd like to have you on in a few weeks i want to wish you the best of luck and keep up the great work i mean you've been for the last two months, Jeff, you've been nailing this stuff right to the wall. You haven't missed a beat, and we really appreciate it. I know some folks are fundamentalists, and they don't follow the technical aspects, but it's hard to dispute it when you lay it out like you have. I I just think uh, people should be very impressed with the work that you've done. You should be congratulated. Well, thanks, Larry. I really appreciate that. Let me just make your uh, listeners aware that we've launched a new newsletter uh, called Huge Insights, The Big Picture. And if you're interested, you can get this newsletter for free by going to my Twitter uh, profile at alpha underscore insights, and you can sign up for the newsletter. We're giving the first several issues away for free uh, and, you know, just test it out. See if you like it. We detail exactly what we laid out in this presentation with much greater detail and a lot of more examples in the newsletter. And so um, you're welcome to take a, a test drive on that. Wow. Well, that's really cool. I I certainly appreciate it, my friend. And may God bless, and we'll see you in a couple weeks, okay? All right. Take care now, Larry. You know, Jeff, there might even be a down day between now and the next 14 trading days. (laughs) Nope. I'm not making any predictions or anything, but there's a possibility. There is indeed. (laughs) Thank you again, Larry. Take care. Thank thank you, Jeff. Jeff Huge Alpha Insights, folks. Really great. Let's get back to taking a look at some of these things that Jeff was talking about. And, of course, one of them that we follow here closely for some of our friends are in it, which is the old Tesla. We'll get this up because we were at really critical level in Tesla. If we can get above that 730 level, and we're not even close. Let me get this up here. I'm just looking at here right now. Here we go. You'll see here, there's where we are. Let's get it up here. The most important thing to take away from this, folks, is if we go back and look at technical analysis, just go back and look at the top there at 900. There was a perfect head and shoulders pattern, the right shoulder lower than the left shoulder, the distance between the high, the shoulders high, shoulder high, and the shoulder low was exactly 10 trading days. And you can see you had a beautiful Gartley pattern there at 780. You had a double bottom there at 540. And you have the 78.6 retracement up here at 730. That's what stopped it. It's taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 days to reach that. We need Tesla to be bullish. It's got to get above 740. Otherwise, I still think this is a downtrend. You can see the lower tops, lower bottoms. So uh, regardless of what the fundamentals are, uh, it hasn't really turned yet. Same thing with Apple. You know, it needs to close above that 151 level to keep the momentum going. And it could certainly do that, but we don't really know for sure. Now, when we started this show, we were looking for the old uh, S&P to uh, get up to this old level that we were looking at, which was uh, 03 to 07. Uh, we've been to uh, 04 and a half, almost 05. And now it has, hasn't done really much. But if it's if it's right, then we should start to the downside. Now, the way I would handle this, you know, I've got the, I, I've got looking at this right here. My mid midpoint, of course, was 04, 
And um, so I would, if I've been a seller at 04, 05, 07, it was the number. If it gets above 12, so in other words, between 4 and 12 is 8 ticks, you're going to be you're going to be wrong. But the way you handle it, if the AI is working, this should start down, and it should not make a new high now. So what I would do now is I would lower my stop down to 4508 to keep my risk down to just uh, you know $200. If in fact that's uh, the way I'd be watching it right here. So we'll just pay very very close attention to that if you happen to be interested. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi folks, this is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. <clears throat> okay folks, I posted the chart of December cattle. Mr. Z asking me how we handled that cattle short because he assumed that we were in October, but what we did is I choose chose to use the December cattle versus the October, only because give us a little bit more time. Uh, the charts look identical. Uh, I just was a choice that I made. The October made the price objective, the December didn't. I posted the chart there, you can see on the December, it didn't quite make it, so it's the same pattern, it's just that the December was weaker, and uh, 
I would want it to be because it hadn't made the target, so I figured I would sell the weakest, but unfortunately that didn't happen. So now I'm waiting. We've had three hard down days. Cattle's down more than four cents a pound. So what I'm watching for is a nice little two-day rally, maybe three-day rally uh, in the December cattle, and also be watching the October too because it fits so perfectly, and that'll give me an edge that I'll be able to exploit to see if I can you know, line this stuff up uh, to make sure that it's uh, – you know, doing the right ways. Now we hit our price objective uh, in the gold up here at 1818. We're trading at 1819.30, and uh, we're like I said, uh, you know, uh, on that particular one, we would not risk more than four dollars. So your stop would be at 1822. And if you do that, I mean, I didn't, I didn't post this as a uh, what do you call it as a 24/7 uh, trade only for the fact that it was Fed time and I just didn't uh, want to take the additional risk and in fact that it, it could have gotten very crazy and now it's not crazy so I would be looking at it very closely but that's not what's happened here okay now on Monday I believe we do have John person is going to be our guest on Monday and hopefully later this week uh, early in September when we get moving I'm going to have dr. Al Larson from Money Tied On, he's one of my best little compadres. I mean, we've been friends for many years and, and truly one of the five smartest dudes I've ever met uh, on this planet. And he is right up there. Let me tell you, folks, double PhDs, electronics and computers and whatever. See you all on Monday. May God bless. Building wealth.